All right, so we're going to do our first battle of the day against Small Corgi. Live Arena, we need to uh, only use the champions from the Corrupted Faction, so Demon Spawn, Undead, Dark Elves, and Night Revenant. And um, yeah, I think we've got a pretty good chance of doing things here, so we're going to start off um, Duchess and, and Rodos, kind of just throw in whoever we have. The restrictions are... Demon Spawn Undead, Dark Elves, and Night Faction. We can use the um, same champions over and over again if we want to, but, uh, you know, that it's mostly just because we, we don't really have any other choice. I don't really have that many options when it comes to other champions. I, I do, but at the same time, it's more like I don't have champions that are really built for Live Arena. I think the only one who's Live Arena ready is probably Rodos. Uh, Kandrafon, too. I guess you can make an argument for Kaimar, Duchess. Kind of. Um, Krutrexa, Mithrala, Lydia. So, we'll see. I'm not really trying to win first place here for this challenge that we're doing. I'm just uh, trying to get the Little Miss Annie avatar. Now, we're going to get rid of Kaja because she does have the block buffs. And we're going to go in with... Oh, Duchess. Of course, they would take care of my Rodos, just because he's going to be the one that hits the hardest. But Kutrexa and Little Miss Annie are no slouch either. This is going to be unedited. This is just... It's just going to be one long live arena video with no cuts in between, because that's just what is required for this challenge. I mean, I could make cuts, but then um, it would make it a little bit iffy when it comes to actually um, proving that I did things legit. So let's do this. And it doesn't look like we're doing too hot. Except Little Miss Annie does come back, so that's pretty nice. Probably hit Little Miss Annie again with the AoE is probably what I would do. Oh, okay. I mean, that works too. As long as one of my guys can go, I think I would be okay. So UDK eats that. Draco's probably going to do the poison. Okay. If we can just get a turn in. That's all we need. We just got to take a turn. Maybe we can put some fears on. All right. So now we can get rid of... Let's get rid of Arbiter, just to be sure. And he hits hard. Pretty much capable of taking down anybody. And yeah. So that's one battle down. I did one battle earlier, but then I, I left immediately because I was like, oh, crap, I'm not recording. All right, so this is our second battle that we're about to jump into. And, um, yeah, I, I guess I'm supposed to talk through the... Like, the requirements were that I was supposed to talk during the entire time. And sometimes the live arena does this, where it's just like you have to wait for an entire minute to match up with somebody. And then, okay, here we go, against Aspid. So... Let's see. Okay, we get to go first. Let's start off with Rodos, just because that's who I can remember off the top of my head. And let's do these filters on. Let's change it up a bit. Let's bring in Candy. Of course, you would bring in UDK. We'll bring in uh, Lydia. Let's bring in Kaimar. And then, actually, no, no, no. Let's bring in Duchess for a little bit of a of a chance to bring somebody back because I'm not looking too hot right now when it comes to my choices here. I'm probably going to have to ban UDK. And he doesn't ban my uh, Rodos. Okay, so... But I, I mean, I guess he was counting on me banning somebody else. Mithral is actually a pretty annoying ch champion to deal with, so we'll see. I'm confident we're going to outspeed him. We'll see. Never mind. Okay. I mean, there it is. Game set and match, huh? Fear? Oh, I should have feared this uh, rat over here. And there it is. Oh, oh, oh. No, we're okay. Oh my god, what do we do? I guess we'll get rid of their damage dealer. 
Never mind, we won't get rid of their damage dealer. Yeah, Mithral is pretty annoying herself with all of her uh, petrifications. Okay, so maybe I went too hard with damage dealers. I, I brought in three damage dealers, so that was kind of a rookie move on my end. Let's get rid of Trenda. Or try to get rid of Trenda. But we're not looking too hot here. Those bombs are about to pop off. Yeah. Yep, that's okay. All right, so that was our second battle. This one is going to be our third battle here. Happy Halloween, everybody. Okay. Let's put the filters on. One, two, three, four. And they just left. Does that count? Does that... I don't think that counts. Okay, we're not going to count that one. I don't think that counts for the challenge. So we're going to do another, another battle against Tony Chang. You know what's weird? And, and I could say this because I'm Asian. But I always think... I mean, I know the reason why. But I always found it interesting, um, you know, going to school and meeting people who are Asian also, because I'm Asian too, uh, and I've got an American first name. But I would always meet other people who have, you know, American first names as well, and I always thought that was interesting. Let's bring in Kaimar. I feel like we need to bring more support. So let's bring in Kaimar. Let's bring in UDK. Just to uh, make sure that they can't choose UDK. And lock us out. That's the combo I need to be going for. UDK and Rotos together. Like going, like going to high school and meeting other Asian people. It, their their names were like Tony, or Eddie, or Paul. And I'm just like, oh, that's uh, interesting. And I would always ask them, what's what's your real name? And they would always have a real name. And their reasoning was always that um, their parents really wanted them to integrate into uh, Western culture. Yeah, truth. We're going to bring in Morty Macabre this time because we have a, a few AoE champions here. And I think the biggest one I, I'm worried about is probably going to be Mithrala just because that, that Hex petrification is so damn annoying. But it looks like we're okay. I guess I would ban Kaimar out of everybody just because Kaimar's sleep and reset of skills can be quite annoying. And I wish Polarium would fix this, this whole uh, turn thing, because, I mean, come on, dude, you already know you're going to pick Sun Wukong as the lead, so I don't know why you're letting the entire thing run. It doesn't make any sense. I think if, uh, if they really wanted it to be live arena, like actual live arena, they would drop this from 15 seconds to something like 10 seconds. Choosing champions, probably like another 10 seconds. And it's not even actually like 15 seconds. It's closer to like 20 seconds, right? Because, or like 23 seconds, because there's a little bit of a lag before the timer starts counting down. So now we have this a-hole over here who's taking the entire turn meter just to be funny. That's cute, dude. All right, who's next? Let's get rid of Wukong so we can't strip buffs. Gonna, gonna have to hit one of these guys. But let's hit Valkyrie. Yeah. And watch, he's going to take the entire turn meter. And I would have gone and hit one of these guys. I would have hit one of these guys with um, with uh, Rodos, but because he was negative affinity, I, I just wasn't confident in its ability to do so, to, to perform properly. I would have weak hit more often than, more likely, more than likely. Okay. Now, we're in a pretty good spot here because we have these two guys with AoEs. Well, three guys with AoEs. And then we have these guys with counterattacks. So if they counterattack and they hit Morta Mukab, uh, it's going to proc his passive. And that's something that we want here. We want the passive to proc so that we can put the block um, revive on Sun Wukong. I think this is really cool. Look at this. It's more to Macabre, but he's on fire, so you can see him. Look at that. That's pretty cool. All right, let's get rid of this guy. And we're going to hit Drexy. 
Who are you going to sheep? I mean, you're going to have to hit the sheep. Oh, you don't want to hit the sheep. Okay. Let's throw this on auto. I think we're I think we're good. There you go. Now he either leaves or he just takes the entire turn meter up. Okay. Now this is our third fight. So now we're going to do the fourth fight coming up. Take this. I saw that they put an avatar. Um, what do you call it? Uh, border. And I wasn't going to continue doing live arena, but then they put another carrot in front of me, which is the border. So now I'm just like, well, damn. <laughs> now I need to collect that too. <laughs> All right. So we're still rocking the demon spawn undead dark elves only. We're going to have to go in with Duchess, UDK, of course. Actually, let's, let's start off with UDK Rodos. And then we're going to do Duchess and um, Kaimar. And Arbiter's there, so I think this would actually be a good time to drop Lydia. We're going to bring Lydia in. And we have a Elva here, so that's also pretty good for us. The only issue now that I've realized is we only have one damage dealer. So if they take out Rodos, then I'm kind of SOL. So we're going to bring in Kruchexa. We're going to bring in Kruchexa. We're going to get rid of Madame Seri. Because she can do some stripping. Uh, buff buff stripping. She can buff strip, and we don't want that. See, if I didn't bring another damage dealer in, we would have been in trouble here. But we're okay with Kruchexa now. And Hefrak is probably the biggest concern for me in terms of me receiving damage. We're going to put them to sleep, place our buffs, and we can actually hit the A1, push a little bit of turn meter back. Now, Kruchexa will attack one enemy and then grant an extra turn. So let's hit you and then you. And pretty much it's a wrap after that. Yeah, Kruchexa is actually Kruchexa is pretty nice with it. Um, strong damage dealer. Probably not, in my opinion, like the most meta top tier. But as you can see, she she does nicely. She does very well. Here she goes, especially with that extra turn and the multi-hitter on the A1. Definitely able to delete somebody like Rodos. That was four battles. That was four battles. Now we're going to go up against the fifth here. Fifth? 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 Oh, I have to pronounce the TH at the end. All right. So Demon, Undead, Dark. I want to bring in Annie again. Let's bring in Annie. Okay. Hopefully they're bringing a Reviver. Because I want to... I want to do a little Annie action. Annie, are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? Eagle Peck. Come on, dude. Choose your champion. It, I don't like it. It's 30 seconds to choose one champion. It doesn't feel like Live Arena. When they're choosing two champions, that's one minute. You know what I mean? It. It's just... um. It's kind of annoying. We want to make sure we're bringing UDK and, and Rodos... Then we're going to bring our Lydia and Miss Annie. Probably going to get rid of Mithrala there. Yeah. And this is actually going to work in our favor. We're going to get rid of Rhonda. Because Rhonda can mess up our passives. What's going to happen is we're going to take down Sun Wukong. And because Lydia's passive blocks revives for one turn and then resurrects everybody, I think we're in a good position here. Now let's bring in Kaimar. We're going to get rid of Rhonda. We're going to let Androx... I don't even know what this mythical champion does. I don't even know what he does. He looks like a badass, but I don't know what he does. And so part of me is kind of like, oh, okay, well, I, I want to find out what he does. But the other half of me is like, hey, let's just take another shot of this juice. Oh, cause for celebration. Another year. Another year. Put them to sleep. Okay. Now, um, well, shoot. What do we do here? I don't want to wake everybody up. Let's actually wake Androck up. I, I kind of want to see what, what he does. Never mind. I don't want to see what he does. Okay, who, who do we hit now? Let's get rid of Mithrala. Oh, never mind. She's still up. She's still up. 
Uh, where is it? Okay, never mind. She's not up anymore. Oh, you know what? I should have saved that for... Actually, I forgot. We can reset champions. We can reset skills. All right, let's do this. There you go. Roto's slowly walking over. And this is five. So that's five five battles. We have eight minutes left. I've got three tokens left. So the, the, the challenge is done. The challenge is done. Challenge is done. We've done, we've done five battles. Corrupted Alliance only. And we're just going to knock out these last three battles because um, I'm already here. <laughs> so, but with that being said, I don't think I have to uh, constrict myself to only those five Corrupted Alliance champions. Now we're going to... You know what? I feel a little bit badly. Let's do Epic Champions only. That's what we'll do. We're going to do Epic Champions only. That way it, it, it kind of... Uh, I don't know. Gives this guy... A good shot at winning, cause my epic my epic champions aren't aren't really built like that, which means that he's he's got a pretty decent chance at uh beating me here. Try to try to send it back, cause he he gave me a win. I'm gonna I'm gonna give him a a decent chance at at winning also, and we're just going to get rid of um let's get rid of Wukong. We're gonna keep that. I would do that too. Resist in all battles. All the same, right? Yeah, they're all the same. We'll do this. All right, Eagle Peck. You got it, dude. It's all you, dude. This is all I believe in you, bro. I believe in you. You got this. Ancestor Testum. There you go. You got this, dude. All you, bro. There you go. Give it to me. Give it to me, bro. There you go. Look at that. With the increased res, Androck was able to make sure that they don't receive um, the debuffs. Except for Arbiter. And look at this. Seer has, um, what do you call it? Decreased attack. So we're kind of SOL there. However, let's buff up here. We'll see. What are you going to do, A2 or A3? Okay, you, bo you boost turn meter. What I can do is either... Um, actually, let's, bu let's buff up even more. Let's put a few more buffs, and then let's see what this does. Okay, okay. So we were able to get rid of this champion. Okay, transform. That's a nice transformation. Look at that. It's got the, um, the lion mask on. Very nice. Good job, dude. All right, get rid of um, Arbiter there so there's no revives. Put the strength in on. We're going to weak hit here. Can we place the Provoke? Nope, it's not happening. Let's place Weaken. Okay, we got Weaken on that champion. Decreased speed, we got decreased speed. How hard does he hit? Okay. A1. Very nice, very nice. Hit the A1 here. We got the Provoke up on Androk. What is his A1? What does Taragi's A1 do? Decrease attack. Okay. Hit the decrease attack there. Decrease. Oh, we can't get the defense. Okay, so Seer is... Her A2 should be available now. So I'm pretty sure the A2 is about to pop out. There you go. Good job. Not enough accuracy. Does he take extra turns? If you guys heard that, that's my cat. My cats are fighting each other right now, but that's okay. Okay, so back to your first form. That's totally fine, dude. Okay, a little bit of healing, some sustenance. Get those those um those continuous heals up. Good job. Very nice. All right, let's throw this on auto. I'm pretty sure there is a decent chance for him to uh, still beat me with poi i'm like I, I think poisons are good enough to uh to beat me right i forgot i forgot that sia takes extra turns okay what are you doing all right pre place the hex yeah her um his uh mithrala definitely needs more Accuracy. I, I would too, to be honest. All right, we have two more battles left. We got four minutes. Let's see. 
they always do this. My cats always do this. They're really quiet, and then once I start talking to the camera, they're like, oh, well, let's, um, let's start messing around with each other. Let's do voice only. I'm still getting a hang of uh, Incensa? In Inesca? I still haven't really figured her out, but um, she's pretty cool. She's able to place the poison cloud thingy. I think that's nice. Let's bring in Taurus because he brought in Marishka, and I don't want them to have that uh, possibility for a combo. I'm thinking Warlord next. Actually, actually hold on. I, I kind of want to bring in Yineska. Yeah, let's bring in Yineska. Yineska? And do I have another damage dealer? I have a... Uh, oh, I've got two damage dealers. What if I bring in... Warlord. There you go. That way we can decrease the, their cooldowns. Now, our mons will probably be an issue for me. But, let's let him keep Armands. Let's just get rid of Marishka. No, you know what? Let's let him keep Marishka. Let's get rid of Elva. That way he's got a, a good team here. Um, give him a good chance. We'll give him a good chance for this. All right, so we got rid of Marius. That was a good decision. All right, so now it's just Taurus. Actually, Cardiel does a decent amount of damage. I, I built him with some damage in mind, too, so we'll see. All right, let's do full auto. I'm just going to let it ride. Hey, bro, whatever happens, happens. May the best man win. Nice, got the strengthen up. Okay. Oh, we stole it. But as soon as Marishka is beaten, we're going to come back. going to come right back. That, that uh, Wukong looks like he hits, too. There you go. Okay. We got the Provoke up on Wukong. And is this a wrap? Is it? Oh, it is. Sorry, uh, Drac. All right, last one. Ninety nine eight eighty ninety Sean mention. All right, let's do spirit only. Let's do spirit only this time. Actually, no, we we have we've had Duchess. Let's do force only. All right, so we're gonna do Makage. And we're going to bring in Pytheon and UDK as well. He's probably looking at me like, well, what the heck is this team? I'm going to bring Kandrophon and uh, Staltus Dragonbane. I put gear on Staltus, but I, I haven't really built him out. Okay, we're going to get rid of Alaz the Sun Bear because he scares me. Hmm. I'm thinking I'm thinking UDK in the lead. Cause to my understanding, whoever is in the lead has priority for passives and blessings. So I think with UDK having let's throw it on auto. With UDK having the the sheep. Um, thing. It might help us. You know, I've heard bad things about Aphidius. Like, I've heard he's a pretty mid-champion, even after the buff. Which is weird, because you would expect that every mythical, no matter what, is going to be absurdly overpowered. But it looks like he's got some good CC, so I don't know. I don't fight mythicals enough.
That was nice. I, I like Mikage's ability there. And I think because we're a positive affinity against their mons, we're we're having some luck here. Oh, there goes our damage dealers. There it goes. And that's pretty much a game, right? Let's just leave right now. <laughs>